ideal and non-ideal solution fine okay there is a raoul's law ideal solutions follow raoul's law that means the vapor pressure is equal to uh, the product of uh, vapor pressure of uh, the pure substance into its small fraction into solution this is the raoul's law if we if we can let's say we have a solution and we and we calculate its vapor pressure experimentally and then we find it out uh, using this equation raoul's law and we find that both are same it is called an ideal solution that means ideal solutions follow raoul's law at the entire range of temperature and pressure and if it is not followed we call it a non ideal solution okay fine so what happens in case of ideal solution is what makes a solution ideal or what makes a solution non ideal uh, what will happen that in case of ideal solution p the pressure would be equal to p not let's say p a the vapor pressure of a into solution would be be the product of vapor pressure of pure a into its small fraction into solution in case of non ideal solution this will not be equal to uh, the p not a x a either it would be greater than this or less than this okay I in ideal solutions if let's say we have a a there is interaction between molecules of a there is another liquid the interaction between the molecules of b is represented by bb and when we mix both these components we get a solution in which there is a new kind of interaction between a and b so if this a a was equal to b b and it is equal to a b that means the interaction between the particles of a is equal to almost equal to the interaction between the particles of b which is equal to the interaction between the particles of a b it is called an ideal solution and if it is not so then it is called a non ideal solution okay if the interaction between the aa or bb is greater than that of ab it is observed that it shows more vapor pressure than what was expected using uh, raoul's law and it is called a positive deviation and if it is less we call it negative deviation okay now in case of ideal solution enthalpy of mixing is zero that that means neither heat is released nor heat is absorbed when we when we make the solution also volume of mixing is zero that means if we add 5 liter into 5 liter we get exactly 10 liter nothing less nothing uh, more in case of non ideal solution enthalpy of mixing is not zero neither the volume of mixing it is also not zero fine okay now what are the examples ideal means if we if i add let's say for example benzene into toluene we get an ideal solution because there was not much interaction between the molecules of benzene there is no much interaction between the molecules of toluene all are non polar and thus if we mix both of these there won't be any much interaction again between benzene and toluene so it would be a like this aa is equal to interaction between bb which is almost equal to a now what i do if i use ccl4 carbon tetrachloride and add it into water there was hydrogen bonding between the water molecules there was not much interaction between the molecules of carbon tetrachloride but now if i add the carbon tetrachloride will disturb the hydrogen bonding of water that means a a is not more equal to a b and it was not equal, equal to b b also fine so this is a non ideal solution i i hope uh, that you understand what was ideal and non ideal solutions i we are uploading we will be uploading more videos stay tuned for more such videos of physical organic and inorganic chemistry and don't forget to subscribe and we would love it if you give us your feedback in the comment section so that we can further improve thank you